put your hands together. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are. You are good all the time and all the time. You are good. You are good all the time and all the time. You are good. You are good all the time and all the time. You are good. You are good all the time and all the time. You are good people, people from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. to run out of some things. Hallelujah. Amen? Thank so tonight, you. we're going to run out of that grave. Yes. We're going to throw that grave clothes away. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah! I was buried beneath my shame. Woo! And who could carry that kind of weight? It was, it was my tomb. Till I met you. Woo, I was breathing. And I was breathing, but not alive. And all my failures, all my failures, I tried to hide. It was my tomb. Till I met you. You call my name. You call my name. Now your mercy has saved my soul and your freedom, God. Woo! Now your freedom is all that I know. The old made new, Ooh, the old made new. Jesus, Jesus, when I met you, they call my name. You call my name. Hey. 
need a rescue. Amen? I need a rescue. My sin was heavy. But chains break at the weight of your glory. I need a shelter. I was an orphan. But you called me a sinner. When, when I was broken, you were my healing. And your love is here that I'm breathing. I have a future. My eyes are open. Because when you call my name.
everyone just praise him. Thank you, Lord, for your refreshing tonight, Lord. Amen.
unsettling on the inside and your digestive tract and it could be from the top of your head to the soles of your feet but I want to come against worry because worry will cause your system to be out of alignment what does the Bible say it says cast all your care upon me why because I care for you. And in the Amplified, it says, I care for you affectionately. Amen. So that means he's in love with you. Isn't that great to know? Your heavenly father is in love with you. And I want us to go back into sickness can't stay. But if you need healing in your body, just lift your hands. And we're going to sing this in faith. Amen. God is the God that heals. He doesn't bring sickness and disease on you. Amen? If something's on you, you know what? Often the, the sickness that you're fighting has to do with your call, has to do with the anointing on your life. And so if something's trying to stop you from going after the call, the purposes of God, what do we say? No. We resist it. Amen? The Bible says resist the enemy and he will flee. Well, the healer's on the inside of us. The Holy Ghost is on the inside of us. The resurrection and the life is on the inside of us, amen? And this is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And I've never heard in the Bible or read in the Bible where the Holy Spirit is sick. So if this is the temple, we speak to our temples to be whole in Jesus' name, amen? Come on, declare it over yourself. You walk in wholeness all your days. Sickness can't stay any longer. I need your perfect love. Your perfect love is casting out fear. You are the God. You are the God of all power. And it is your will. God's will that we walk in health and healing all of our days. He renews our youth as the eagles. There is no question about it. There is no doubt about it. There is no debate about it. It is God's will to heal. If you've read his word, you know it is God's will for you to be healed in your body right now. 
Jesus has done everything necessary to make that happen. We're not waiting for anything else. It's just a matter of believing and receiving. So, Father God, we thank you right now that we walk in divine health all of our days, that we have nothing going on on the inside of our body that is out of order, out of line of your will. But every cell of our body lines up with the will of God, which is health and healing in Jesus' name. Every organ, every tissue, every fiber of our body, our ambulatory ability, our strength, our health, our vision, our hearing, the sharpness of our mind, healthy, 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 healthy. We believe it. We receive it right now in Jesus' name. Say it out loud. I am healthy in my body. I do not have disease in my body. There is no tumor, no nothing in my body. Every cell in my body lines up with the will of God, which is health and healing in Jesus' name. By the stripes of Jesus Christ. Come on, say it by faith. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. Come on, say it like you believe it. I am healed. Now we're going to receive it. I am healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oriana Maria la Mabo, Oriana Mai. Iala Maria la Mabo, Oriana Mai. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oriana Maria la Mai. Arana Mana na Maria la Mabo, Oriana Mai. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oriana Maria la Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord, that that digestive system that Debbie was prophesying about earlier, that is healed, healed, healed. Acid reflux, no more. In the name of Jesus. Upset stomach, no more. In the name of Jesus. Intestinal system works to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oriana Maria la Maria la Ma. Orana Maria la Ma. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We come against stiffness of joints in the knees, in the, in the, uh, particularly in the fingers. In Jesus' name, stiffness of joints. We say there's total and complete movement and no more pain, no more ache, no more stiffness. In the name of Jesus. If that's been you, I want you to start receiving it right now in your body. No more pain, no more ache, no more stiffness. No more pain, no more ache, no more stiffness. Even today, you were getting out of a chair and you said, Oh, my knees, oh, my knees. No, 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 no more, no more. Oh, perfect mobility. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for that, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that you restore the cushiony substance that goes in our joints so that bone does not rub against bone. And I thank you that you do it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Who's had an issue with bone on bone? I'm sorry, sweetheart. What were you going to say? Who's had issue with bone on bone pain in your, in your knees or shoulders, some joint movement where you just like, this is, is that you come down quickly so we can anoint you? A bone on bone thing. Oh, Rada Masidi Ala Masidi Ala Masidi. Hallelujah. 
someone that needs healing in their eyes and maybe others here they're not as clear as they used to be anybody need healing you don't have to come up but you need healing in your eyes hallelujah praise the Lord up here on stage hallelujah praise no blindness eyes will not grow dim in Jesus name hallelujah thank you Lord Hold on a second. You, you can, yeah, you want to stand in for her? Yeah, absolutely. Naomi, hallelujah. And if anybody wants hands laid on, but I'm going to just point towards the cameras. Anybody watching, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for restoration and complete reconstruction of eyes in the name of Jesus. We pray for Naomi right now when we say her eyes are healed and healthy. Her vision is perfect in Jesus' holy name. The complete structure of her eye glorifies you, Lord. It is a good eye, a healthy eye, strong eye in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for her. We agree, Lord. Those eyes are healed. Healed in the name of Jesus. You are all. 
Churches that Rhea's eyes are pray. healed and healthy and well, and her vision is perfect, and the operation of her lenses of her eyes operate perfectly in uniformity, and God's will is manifest in her eyes in Jesus' name, and we declare these eyes are healthy eyes, they are strong eyes, the vision is perfect in these eyes, in the name of Jesus Christ, no blurriness, no blurriness, no blurriness, in Jesus' name, but only sharpness of vision, sharpness, clarity, in the name of Jesus, we say amen, so be it, so be it, so be it, praise the Lord, hallelujah, well turn to your neighbor and say you are the healed of the Lord, whole and healthy and well and strong in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mara just had a healing testimony. Her knuckles are healed. God just healed her knuckles. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. There were so many good comments about Sunday, you know, all the praise to the Holy Ghost. But you know, when words of knowledge come, our responsibility is to grab a hold of it, you know. And uh, someone may think it's just for them, but usually there's a few. And I heard some really, really good things from the elbow to the hair loss to on and on it goes. Uh, but all that says is the Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Come on, you can do better. He's here and he knows what we need. You know, in the Bible, what does the Bible say? You have not because you ask not. And how can you not ask when the Holy Ghost tells you what to ask? Amen. He is always present and always ready to, to help his people. He loves you, church. And he still heals today. I don't care what other people say. This church will always declare and believe that he is our healer. We go to him first, amen? And then he tells us how to do the rest of it. Well, it is good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Oh, I tell you, you made the right decision. And I just want to give a plug. Last night was uh, the first night of the class, Eat That Frog. And we had a blast. It was so much fun. And uh, spouses telling on spouses. And uh, it, it was hilarious. I always tell Jamie when he tells a story on me, and it's usually true, usually but uh, I tell him, I said, honey, you do know one day soon I'm going to be in that pulpit. Amen? And what goes around comes around. 
I've got enough stories to tell, but it was just a lot of fun. So when um, we post it again and it's a new class, make sure you sign up. You, you will just love it and you'll grow. And really, and I'm going to it. I know the book, I've read the book, but I just want to be under the atmosphere of growth. Amen. I mean, we have it in our home 20, all the time. But to be around watching other people grow yes. and then speaking into your life. So Mary Monell, awesome job. Awesome job. Just a lot of fun. And this Friday night, our teens are having their Friday night party, and it's to celebrate the last day of school. Can you believe school's over? Are you glad, Minister George? Are you glad school's over? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Short but powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. And so a week from Saturday is our men's meeting. And this is really exciting. Are you guys ready? I mean, guys, you got to make sure you sign up because Minister Brian True is going to bring the message. Yay! We're excited about that. And then we have Jermaine. Raise your hand. Jermaine and Dr. Gooden, wherever he is, where did he go? They're making the breakfast. Woohoo! I think I've got to have Carla come and check in. Huh? Well, Jer uh, Jermaine will help you, Dr. David. So whatever you all are doing, right? It's the right David, right? Hallelujah. Somebody's pulling my leg over there. But Carla's going to come and check. Make sure, you know, you're up to her standards. Amen. And so Shoes on the Move will be on June 10th. Yay. And uh, I'm thinking about doing the panel again. I know you all really love the panel. That's all I've heard. We love the panel. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> but uh, I'm still praying on which avenue we will go, but it will be awesome. That's June 10th at 11 o'clock. Make sure you get signed up. It is, uh, this month, it's Bring a Dish. We've never done this for Shoes on the Move. And, and we have like, you know, 80, 90 women there. And I said, if we do that, how do we handle 80, 90 dishes? Uh, they said they can do it. So anyhow, so as you came in under the portico, there is a pan. You got a little pan, Miss Carla? That she... she can we make them available? And she's going to make sure Jamie gets something. But this way, we don't have to worry about your dishes. All we want is the food that's in that metal pan. Amen. So you can bring a salad, a casserole, a dessert, a meat, whatever is in your fancy. Just, you know, just make sure you bring something, amen. Carla said she'd make mine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you'd all want my cooking. Jamie says I can cook. <laughs> Microwave. I do it all the time, yeah. Now, I can fix the most awesome steak. Yeah, tell you that, I can do it. And, and so the last announcement, sorry, babe, for taking so much time. The last announcement is VBS. It's going to be here before we know it. And that is on June 25th through the 28th. And uh, do you have people signing up to help already? I do. How many more you need? I'm going to look at the list and I'll let you know by. So we need 20 more helpers. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to be aggressive. So 20 more helpers sign up out at the Welcome Center. Amen. Would you welcome my love? Hallelujah. Well, that ladies' meeting sounds wonderful. Because I know y'all can cook. That sounds so good. Praise the Lord. Debbie was so busy and 
working on the books and accounting and this and that the other day, that she was just at her desk all day long. I was starving. And uh, it got to be about 8 o'clock at night. And I finally went down the hall into her office. I said, Debbie, some families put dinner on a plate and feed their husband. And she said, what time is it? I said, it's 8 o'clock. I'm starving. She said, go microwave something. Come on, you're 65. <laughs> you're 65. You can figure it out. <laughs> so, so I did. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am. Say, I'm blessed. Now, come on. I'm blessed. I'm blessed going in. Blessed going out. Blessed in the house. Blessed in the field. I'm blessed. Whatever I put my hand to is blessed. There's blessings on my head. Yeah, the word says you're blessed. All these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. You'll be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Fruit of your body will be blessed. The produce of your ground will be blessed. The increase of your herds will be blessed. The increase of your cattle, blessed. Say, I don't have any cattle. You're going to get a lot of cattle, I'm sure. Offspring of your flocks, blessed shall you be in your basket, in your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in. Blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies to, who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all which you set your hand to. He will bless you in your land, which is the Lord your God is giving you. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the state in which you live. You live blessed of the Lord. You say, well, I don't know if I earned it. No, Jesus earned it for you. And you're in Jesus. Come on. So the blessing is yours. Amen. Hallelujah. You ready to sow into the kingdom? Let's do it right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground. And we declare that this seed will bring forth a harvest of souls saved, body zeal, lives changed. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. Jesus, Jesus, my Redeemer, there's no greater love than what you've given me. Hallelujah, I'm forgiven, and I'll never be ashamed again, because the very same power raised Christ from the dead is alive in me, and the very same power Wonderful.